Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I need to make a corsage for a little girl. It's a daddy daughter dance and she is five years old. So I'm going to show you how to put a corsage on ribbon. Um, now it's going to be a little trick that's very easy for you to do and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so what we're going to start with is a piece of florist wire. So this is an eight, this um, wire is 20, 21 gauge wire. And so I took and cut it in half. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it with corsage tape. I'm going to move some of my stuff out of the way so you can see it. I'm going to take this corsage tape and I just lay that wire right there on top of that tape and I pinch it right at the tip and just kind of twist it. Just twist it so that, it, that it'll stay stuck. And then you pull down with your opposite hand. Pull, twist, pull, twist, pull, twist. And you're just wrapping it all the way around, all the way down on this piece of wire. Just like that. So it's a wrapped wire. Now I'm going to twist it like a pretzel, okay? So I'm going to take it and I am going to make a circle. So I just kind of crossed it over just like that. And then I'm going to take the second half and I'm going to twist it so it almost looks like a bow. Just like that. I twisted it. And then I'm going to wrap this wire around so it holds it, holds it in place. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take this and this is what's going to run on our ribbon. So here is my double face satin. So I'm going to take that ribbon and one end I am going to poke it through the hole and slide it through. It's a little wide but it works. And then my second half, other, my second part of the ribbon I'm going to poke through the second loop. So you just slide it on just like that. So this is the metal piece or the wire that you're going to attach the corsage to. I'm going to show you the back side. There's the back and there's the front. And you can bend these little loops if you need to. So there is our attachment. This is what's going to hold our flowers, okay? Next, what I'm going to do, now that I've got my, um, my ribbon ready and my attachment, I am going to go ahead and start my corsage. I'm only gonna use two rosebuds because she's very small. So I'm gonna take um, a larger bud that looks pretty. So I'm gonna use that one. And then I'm going to take a smaller bud, a tighter bud, and I'll use that one. Set this to the side. Now I'm going to take 26 gauge wire. It's hard for you to see because it's tiny. And I am going to run it right through the calyx of this rose. So just press it right through, all the way through that rose bud, just like that. I'm going to pull that wire down toward the stem. And then I'm going to wrap it with corsage tape. I'm going to take that tape and I'm going to lay it all the way around and twist and pull, twist, pull. And you're going to do it just like we just did that wire. And we taped that little rose stem. Okay? I'm going to take my second rose. I'm going to take another 26 gauge wire. I like to cut mine in half. They come in about 18 inches, so I just cut it in half. I'm going to press it, push it all the way through that calyx. Pull it all the way through. Bend that wire down towards that stem. And then I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to tape it again. Just take it and twist it. Pull and twist. What you're doing is this is a paper infused. Um, it's a paper infused with wax. And so that's what makes it sticky. Okay, and then there is our wired and taped rose. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to take your rosebud and lay it right behind your larger bud, just like that. And it's laid just right on the back. 
And then I'm going to take my tape and I'll tape it again. So it's a lot of layering. Pinch it and twist and pull. You just do a lot of layering of the tape and that ensures that it's not going to fall apart. So it's taped together there. Next I'm going to take a little bit of baby's breath as my filler flower. Trim that stem. I'm going to take that baby's breath just like that and I'm going to lay my little roses right in amongst the baby's breath. Okay, I just laid it right on the back. I'm going to tape that. Just tape that together. Next, I'm going to add just a touch of foliage. So my greenery is just Italian Ruscus. I'm going to remove a couple of the little um, leaves on the bottom of the stem. And then I'm going to lay that greenery right behind my flowers there. Just laid it right on. And then I'm going to take my tape and again I'm going to tape it. So it's just layer after layer. All right, there's our tiny little corsage. It's taped, wired and taped together. I'm gonna set it to the side and we're gonna make a bow real quick, okay? Um, so there's our corsage. Next, we're going to make a bow. So she has a, a pretty deep pink um, dress. So we'll make a little bow out of this ribbon. Um, it is satin on the back and kind of sparkle on the front. I'm gonna start with the sparkle facing me and I'm gonna make a loop. So I'm catching it right between my thumb and my forefinger, just like that. And I'm going to twist and a loop, catch it, twist, a loop, catch, twist, a loop, catch. And there's my little bow. Grab my scissors. And I'm going to add one more um, streamer. So there's the bow and then I'm going to just take my ribbon lay it right behind. So I'm just going to add a couple more little tails to that bow. So there it is. I'm going to take my 26 gauge wire, place it in the center of that bow and pull down. And I'm going to twist it tight. There's our bow. Now I'm going to take this little bow and you can kind of adjust it just a little bit if you need to. My loops on one side are a little larger than the other. I'm going to take that bow and lay it right underneath those flowers, just like that. Okay, I'm going to take that wire and wrap it right around that stem just so that it's tightly wrapped on that stem. And then I'm going to take some corsage tape and wrap it right around that taped that wire okay now let's attach this to our ribbon let me show you how we're going to do that we've got this little contraption this little wire piece that we made to attach the corsage to the ribbon so i'm going to take my corsage and i am going to lay that wire right on the back. Just right there on the back. Okay, now you can absolutely pop that with a little bit of glue if you want to. I'm not gonna worry about that. I think it's going to hold without any problems because it's a very lightweight flower. So it should not have any issues staying in place. So next I'm gonna take my tape. I'm gonna lay it right there on that wire and come around with that tape. Twist and pull that tape all the way down. So I just taped that right into place. Now I'm going to take this and, and trim it up. So I'm using my wire snips and I just trimmed it up. Okay, and there is your corsage attached to your ribbon. Now let me show you how it's going to lay on a wrist. Here's Victoria's <laughs> arm. <laughs> so you're gonna take this little ribbon and you're just gonna lay that right on that baby girl's arm just like that. 
and if you'll flip it over, we're just gonna tie it in a knot. And you'll tie it as tightly as it needs to be just so that it doesn't flip and flop. Now, I'm not going to tie it too terribly tight because I wanna be able to get it off pretty easy. Now flip it back over. There is her little corsage. So very simple. I'm gonna trim these um, to give them a finished look. But there is our simple wrist corsage attached to ribbon. Guys, thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions about how we do things here at the flower shop, you know you can always ask. Do me a great big favor. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, hit that little subscribe button right down below. And if you'll hit that bell, you'll get notifications for when we get a new video up. Guys, have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon.